It's Android Authority and we're here with Corning and they're obviously the makers of the famous Gorilla Glass. They're going to be showing us a great demo of Gorilla Glass 3 and I'm here with Marcus Haynes, he's an application engineer for Corning and he's going to take us through it. So just let us know what you're up to, man. Alright, so we're introduced to Gorilla Glass 3, we introduced, we introduced it to CES and we're just coming here at Mobile World Congress to talk about a little bit more and actually show demonstrations. Nice. So right, right, what we have here is a competitor's aluminum silicate glass. It is 0.7 millimeters thick, has a scratch of seven newtons, so that's like a, a common scratch you would see in any smartphone. Okay. So, I load in this tester. Mm -hmm. This tester is an incline tester that is set at 10 degrees. We have a 135 gram steel ball. I load it in the tester, and we'll see what happens. Ooh. So you see there, the that's competitor no glass is broken. No good. That's the competitor glass with the seven newton scratch. Which competitor might that be, Marcus? I can't say. I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is Gorilla 3. Okay. With the same seven newton scratch. All right, all right. Same thickness and everything. Nice. Load in the tester. Give it a pull. I like it. You see Gorilla 3? Not bad. Still is intact. No problem with the Gorilla 3. Pretty good, pretty good. So according, we always try to push ourselves even further. Okay. So we're wrapping it up to 30 degrees. With this I angle. like it. Wow, we're getting extreme here. Trying to. It's only glass. I don't need to sign a waiver or anything? <laughs> no, not okay. right now. All right. So what we do to, to show how much impact energy that is, it's three times greater. Mm -hmm. We have a piece of aluminum here. Okay. This is a 0 0.7 millimeter piece of aluminum. Open the tester. We're going to drop that same steel ball. Ooh. That looks, you see a that nice like sizable hurts. dent there, that right? Hurts. Right. Don't stick your finger in there, right? Okay, I won't do that. So now we're gonna do the same thing with Gorilla Three, with the same seven newton scratch as we had before. Mm -hmm. Same thickness. Wow. And you see two impacts there, and the glass still did not break. So to even take that a little bit further, we're actually gonna put this in this uh, mini press here. We'll take this piece of glass and move it over for you guys. And we'll wrap it up to 100 pounds of force. So, apply that load all the way to 100 pounds, even wow. before, higher than that. You see an imprint yeah. of the tester, but the glass is still not broken. And that's that's glass really through. strong glass. Yeah, oh yeah. Like really, really strong. So is this pretty much the, the strongest display glass you guys have ever created? Maybe the strongest on the market? Uh, well, for us, it's our best Gorilla Glass to date. I, I can't comment on what's on the market, but for us, the Gorilla Glass really 3 strong. is still the industry standard and it's still the industry leader. Okay, have you seen any of our drop test videos there, Marcus? I have not, but really, yeah. I know people do, like love to do their drop test We videos, love to right? do our drop test, you yes. know? We uh, recently we dropped the S3 versus the iPhone 5. Mm -hmm. The iPhone 5, it was impossible to break. We had to flip it upside down, <laughs> put rocks under it, and drive it with the car two times. Okay. And then we cracked the last uh -huh. With the S3, it cracked after the second drop, about uh, four and a half feet high. Right. Okay. But well, what we're wondering is, Really, what is the secret behind Gorilla Glass? Like, I know you guys use a lot of really very nice engineering, mm -hmm. and you're going to keep pushing the envelope. Mm -hmm. But are we going to be able to arrive at a position in the future where phones virtually are unbreakable? Uh, it's tough to say. Yeah. Um, glass is still a crystal structure. True. So glass, no matter from what I've been told, no matter what happens with it, it still has a point where it can break. Uh, we're always trying to push the limit on what we can do with our glass. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still a thin glass, still display glass. So it's you know it's up to a point that we're trying to get to. But continuously, we have thousands of engineers and scientists yeah. in Corning working on that very problem. They're trying to improve the glass year over year. That's awesome. Can you talk about a couple of partners or maybe some foam makers that are going to be incorporating Gorilla Glass 3 in the future? <laughs> well, as you know, we're on over 30 major brands. I can't talk specifics. Major. I know you're an engineer. Um, <laughs> can you spill the beans a little bit and give some love to Android Authority? Uh, I really can't okay. speak specifics right now. I understand. But uh, over 30 major brands, <laughs> yeah. 975 different models, wow. over a billion devices sold in the market. Okay. So it's a lot of devices. A lot. We're really pushing hard on notebooks as well, because Windows 8 and, and everything else no that's doubt. out there, we're yeah. really pushing hard on that too, to make sure our brand is, is there as well. Very, very cool. Well, I really want to say thank you very much for your time, you no know, problem. and giving us this cool demonstration. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, you know? Thank you. All right, thank it's Android Authority here. We're live at Mobile World Congress. Thanks to uh, Corning Gorilla Glass for giving us that awesome demonstration. Thank you. All right, thank you too, sir.